First of all, when you see f of x or g of x, this is really just saying that that's the y value, that's the output. So if you want to just think of this as y, you can. And this is really like y equals 1 half x plus 2 and y equals negative 2x plus 3, but they put these domain restrictions over here next to them, and that just tells you that we only want to be on this part of the graph when x is less than 0, and then we want to be on this part of the graph or this piece you could think of the graph since it's a piecewise function when x is greater than or equal to zero. So let me show you a couple different ways to approach this problem. One is, let's just go ahead and graph y equals one half x plus two. So the y-intercept is two and the slope is one half. So up one over two, up one over two, or you could go down one left two, down one left two like this. And you can go ahead and graph that line like so. Okay, but then it says only when x is less than zero. Hmm, so here's zero and we're going less than, so to the left. So that means that we don't need this part of the graph here. We don't even need this point here since it's less than but not equal to zero. So I'm just gonna put an open circle there and going to the left, okay, with me so far? The second part, we're gonna graph y equals negative two x plus three. So the y-intercept is three and the slope is down two over one, down two over one. So you can see this line looks like this, right? Now notice this one says x is greater than or equal to zero. So it equals zero, see when x is zero, and greater than, meaning to the right. So we're gonna be on this part of the graph, this part we don't need. Okay, now, you know, I mentioned there was a different way to do this. The other way to do this is you can make a table, right? You can make an xy table for both of these uh, piecewise functions. So for this one, it says x is less than zero. So I'm gonna pick values that are zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, and I'm gonna plot those points. Now you might say, well, wait a second, Mario, x is less than zero, not equal to zero. Well, you'll still wanna put zero in, you're gonna get two, but at zero, two, instead of filling in that circle, like a solid circle, you're gonna make that open. So it's going all the way up to this point, but not including. So you wanna use that point even though it's less than, but not equal to, but just make sure you make it open. Same thing for this one. You can say, okay, when x is greater than or equal to zero, zero, one, two, three, put those values in, get your y coordinates, plot those points, and you can do it that way. So let's do example number two here. G of x, which is just you know another function, okay, this is like saying y, we're just calling this the g function instead of the f function like the first one. And here you can see we actually have three equations. So here what we're gonna do is, we're gonna graph y equals x squared minus one. So that means it's a parabola, an x squared graph, shift down one, and if we graph this, Let's see if I can do that one, two, three, four, nice and accurately here for us. Okay, so like this and like this. So this graph looks like this, okay. But see how it says when x is less than negative two? So if I go over here to negative two and I go up to the graph, less than but not equal to, so this is actually gonna be open, less than, meaning when we're going to the left. So all of this we don't need. I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna erase it, okay, like so. So we're just on that part of the graph. Okay, then the second one says y equals two. Now we know the line y equals two is a horizontal line, like this, but only when x is in between negative two and zero. So here's negative two right here, one, two, negative two. Okay, and it's equal to, so that means it includes that point, up to zero and it equals zero, so it includes that point. So it's just gonna be that piece right there. The rest of this we're gonna erase, we don't need it. We're just in between x is negative two and x is zero, right in here. Okay, and then the third piece, y equals three x plus one, the y-intercept is one, right? And the slope is three, so we're going up three over one, up three over one, and so on. So you can see the graph looks like this. Now notice it's greater than but not equal to zero. So this is actually gonna be open or hollow, okay? And greater than meaning as we go to, to the right, greater than zero, the x values are greater. Now this is still a function because it passes that vertical line test. See, even here, it's only crossing once. It's crossing here but not here since that's open. Same thing here, here but not here uh, 